is I want to transfer a property to my daughter. How does Prop 19 affect prop, affect the property tax? So let's start. Um, prop 19 affects a lot of different props. So I'm going to focus on what happened to Prop 58, which is the parents to child transfer. So mm -hmm. Prop 58 was um, enacted, I think, in the 80s, mid 80s. And essentially, I could transfer my primary residence with unlimited tax basis to my child without it being reassessed. And then also, I could transfer other properties, whether that be a vacation home or rental unit for up to a million dollars of tax basis to my child, and they wouldn't be reassessed. The issue with, wow. and then all this got changed with Prop 19. So essentially, Prop 19, those other properties now, they're not excluded. So if I transfer a rental property to my child, it's going to get reassessed at fair market or whatever the appraisal will be for its property tax. Mm -hmm. And now if I want to transfer my primary residence, I, there's a lot more uh, restrictions. So if I transfer it to my child, they will also have to live in that house for a year. And I can only exempt $1 million of basis. So let's say I, my basis in this home is $500,000 and the fair market value is 2 million. So, that's a $1.5 million difference. So I'm only allowed to exempt 1 million. So $500,000 will be added to that new basis. So the new basis in the house for property tax will be 1 million. And the issue is when that child, if they ever decide to move out and use that house for another purpose, say a rental unit, that, that property gets reassessed and there's, um, there's some sort of adjustment fee too. So. Prop 19 made it a lot more restrictive to transfer homes to children. And so it was pushed by the Realtor Association. So more people were selling houses and moving houses. So that's the important part to know. Yeah, I've had a lot of conversations with clients uh, about the Prop 19 and they're really upset, uh, I, I, especially the way that the proposition was marketed, you know, because all the ads were talking about relief to fire, uh, you know, uh, wildfire victims and, and different things that are part of that prop, not really, you know, showing that, hey, their kids are going to inherit this house. And instead of paying, you know, the three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 of, you know, property tax, it's going to jump up to 30000 because uh, the house is worth so much or, you know, something along those lines. And, um, and, and really, uh, you know, they, they're afraid the kids won't be able to afford it. They were hoping the kids could keep the house or one of them could keep the house, you know. Uh, yeah, and it does it. That's exactly what they wanted. They wanted to get the situation where there was a movement of the uh, home. Now, is there, uh, I mean, are there strategies that somebody can do uh, around this, uh, you know, to try to deal with this for, for you know, there, your daughter? Fortunately, there's no good, clean strategy. Um, it's kind of right now, people are hypothesizing what they can do. And one of the hypotheses is, I can somehow, if you were to buy a house and then want to transfer it, this is like a best case scenario, they would make an LLC yeah. and then they would have that. And so if you have an LLC and less than 50% is transferred, yeah, there is no like reassessment. Yeah. But like if you already have an existing property that you own, you're kind of out of luck, which is really rough. I think a lot of people as like, more information comes out about Prop 19, they'll start to realize and not be happy about it. I think that marketing that the was done is like, it's really good if you're someone that wants to move properties and keep their basis, because now instead of one time, you can do it three times. Yeah. But you generational wealth is much harder to transfer property. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, it's it, 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 typical of a lot of these things. There usually is some way around it, but Sometimes the solution is worse than the, you know, than the problem, uh, you know, and so I'd be really careful with what I have seen also in the same areas. I'm not seeing anything that I would do personally uh, in order to try to make this work better. Um, there was lots of different talks about different things you could do, but, you know, having to set up an LLC and manage all that and what have you, uh, you know, maybe we should be pushing for a new, you know, uh, a new law to kind of take away the old one <laughs> yeah there's been pushes that um maybe delay the like when you transfer to a child they delay yeah. it instead of like to how it happened on in february delayed a couple more years to allow people to plan for it and strategize yeah 
but yeah. um, that bill never actually got it out of committee. So yeah. hopefully there's some sort of push, but we will only know in the future. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not an industry push. You know, they had the realtors on one side, right, pushing, uh, you know, and they've got some organization versus, you know, people like my clients, which is this fragmented group of people that have highly appreciated homes. Uh, that we're hoping to, you know, get a step up and then get let that kid have that house at that low basis. Uh, you know, my grandparents built a house in Willowland in 1936 that my father inherited. Uh, and his Prop 13, you know, the, the taxes uh, were really, <laughs> because of Prop uh, 58, were really, really reasonable. Uh, and, and, you know, he was at a point in time where he didn't have that much money. So it was really helpful uh, versus, you know, probably wouldn't have been able to stay in that home. And that's kind of our family home uh, if it wasn't for, you know, that ability to transfer those property tax. So it is, I, I, I see, I see the, uh, I see the issues and it, I think it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Yeah. There's some speculation because um, a lot of farmers want to also transfer the family farm. And so there's going to, there may be some sort of agricultural push to uh, move um, the, Prop 19 to something better for them. Oh, that could be an or that could be a you know you're right. There's probably huge money there uh, that's at at stake, uh, and maybe that's the organizations that are able to get this law reversed or at least modified. Uh, that would be that would be great. I, I I'm not a fan of what they did here.